Hey everyone, Robert Silver here, and what I want to bring to you is what's in my bag for the San Francisco Modern Ethnic Fashion Show. So as some of you may know, I will be the lead photographer, therefore I'm shooting for the production company, and I uh, just want to show you what I plan to bring to shoot the images on the runway as well as throughout the show. Okay, first off, for cameras, let's get to that. I have the Nikon Z8 right here, fitted with the 24-70 f2.8 lens. Then I have the Z9 fitted with the 70-200 2.8s lens. Now, the reason why I did this is for a very simple reason. First is, for the Z8, I plan to do all the behind the scenes, fun photos, etc before the show begins that's what i'm going to plan to do uh, with this camera z9 is going to be the actual runway okay because i shot a, uh, their opening kickoff show with the z8 it worked phenomenal autofocus phenomenal color phenomenal even the jpegs out of this was great actually i delivered the jpegs to the client not edited raw photos and it was so quick and easy to um to edit a little bit and then i just delivered it very fast because there was about over 800 photos they wanted the next day so i said screw it since i shot raw and jpeg um i delivered it slightly edited jpegs look fantastic coming out of the z8 so awesome two brown thumbs up for the z8 for runway shooting but one thing that i noticed Z9 has a huge advantage, which is obvious, which is the built-in vertical grip. So, shooting with the Z8, you're like this. And after a while, especially when you have several designers with 10, 15, 20 models of each one, your arm gets tired and it's a weird, awkward position unless you have, um, in my case, like this, the collar on the 7200 with the... Um, for your tripod, which I'm gonna to plan to do. But on top of that, I'm gonna use a Z9 this time just because this is a much more natural, much easier and stable grip. So shout out to the Z9 for that. So that's why I have this here for the runway. And then this is gonna be for the event itself in terms of behind the scenes, as I mentioned earlier. Of course, I have my, um, my uh, Peak Design um, camera strap. I do have a hand strap somewhere in here. Um, I'm bringing this because I will be recording video for the runway itself. And that's gonna be just for my pleasure. I will be posting a video so you can see what the runway looks like. I may even go live, but we'll see. Either way, there you go. Um, what else is in here? I have my, of course, my speed light. This is again for the behind the scenes, the SB910. I've had this for gosh maybe seven years now works like a champ okay ttl all that good stuff uh high speed sync and then you can see i have the mag mod uh adapter on it because that's where i use this little sphere which is inside here and i pop that right on top and now i have nice diffused light when i'm shooting behind the scenes so we got that going of um, this is for my D dji lav mic as i'm talking on right now so that's why you don't see it color correction gotta have the uh what do we got here the color checker passport too i think i've mentioned this to you all before i have a video on how to get accurate or at least very good white balance so go check that out on my channel now um before we get into the flash stuff let me show you some other stuff of course i have my earbuds in case it gets a little boring got my headphones my psychonic um tried and true um um uh, light meter here of course some mints because i'm playing on networking you know you don't you want to be all right in the breath when it comes to networking i have my little case i like this little case i got this free where did i get this free at at some photography event but it's hard it's hard even though i don't ha uh, i only have like one i think i have, no i don't even have any sand disc i have mostly pmy but um, I like the case, it's super hard, so it protects it. So I have XQD cards here, and then I have, um, 
obviously some faster cards up here. But these are backups, really, because what's inside... Shoot, let me close this properly. Jesus. So what's inside of these cameras is... Since I'm shooting the runway with this, a lot of photos, I have a 500 gig um, a CF Express Type B card in here, and I have a 128 gig CF Express Type B card in here for the behind the scenes stuff. So that's what I have rolling there. These are like extreme backups and just to have a case because you never want to just show up with just one memory card. Of course, extra batteries. I have, um, I believe two of these, or three total. Yeah, I can feel it there, three total. Um, don't know why I have this in here. So I'm not bringing that. Matter of fact, let's leave that home. For this, I have four extra rechargeable energizer batteries for the speed light. Yes, rechargeable. Trust me, it's the way to go. Now, let's get to some lighting. Sometimes with local fashion shows, they don't have the best of the best of the best lighting like you might find on New York Fashion Week, uh, LA Fashion Week, or Miami Swim Week, or anything like that with a lot of sponsorship behind it and thus being able to afford good lighting. So I always bring at least one good lighting. So what I tend to bring is the Godox or AKA Flashpoint 8600. So that's gonna give you more than enough light than you care to imagine. You could simply bring a 300 watt would be do fine. I've shot runways with the 8200 as well. So don't feel like you need something as big as this. I'm just, you know, bringing, I'm just bringing it, okay? Then I have one tr a heavy duty tripod stand right here. And then I'm also bringing for the Z9 in the 7200, I'm gonna actually put this right in front of me. So I'm gonna bring, this is a, a, a B-Free Manfrotto tripod, super light, super durable, but I'm gonna put the, use the collar right up here, put the and put, put it right in front of me so again, I don't have to handhold the Z9 the entire time, okay? And then I have a nice, I think this is about a two foot by two foot square softbox that I'm gonna put onto this 8600. Now, this is my entire kit here. With, oh, I forgot to mention, I'm also using the airport takeoff camera bag by Think Tank. I've been using this bag for at least a decade now, and it's still in very good condition. Okay, what I like about this bag, let me see if I can close it up. What I really like about this bag, when I'm moving and grooving is this feature. First, of course, you get your handle, but if you're carrying a bunch of stuff like I am right here, then you open up this portion, and now look, you have a backpack. So I really like that option. So it frees up my hand, put this whole bag on my back. I mean, put the, put the whole bag on my back, and then now I have my hands free to carry the rest of this stuff. Now, to top it all off, what I recommend for anybody shooting a runway is to bring yourself a nice little foldable stool. I got this at, I think, a Home Depot for only like 10, 15 bucks. It's six inches, but it's super durable. If you, if you break this, I will, hell, I'll buy you a new one because this thing is durable. And I usually keep it in the trunk, but this is really good for event photography if you want to get a little higher, wedding photography, and especially fashion shows because you're going to either be standing or sitting. And depending on your placement with the other photographers, you might have to get over their heads. And again, this will give you another six inches. You're good to go. It folds up like so. You push it in. Boom. Flat. There you go. Um, what is the brand? I have no clue, but you could easily find this at Home Depot though. So I just want to share with you what I bring with me to fashion shows. Hopefully this helps you out in any particular way. This would be a similar kit that I would bring to event photography as well. Two cameras, at least two lenses, maybe a third, like a very wide one of 14 to 24. Either way, this is what I'm bringing to shoot the fashion show this week. As a matter of fact, the hell I'm shooting it 
um, today, and I have two shows next week. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, post them down below. I'll be more than glad to answer them for you. Of course, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, don't forget to press that like, that share, that subscribe, and yes, smash that bell icon to get notifications for upcoming videos. I'm Robert Silver, and until next time, keep shooting and stay creative.